So guys, what's going on? One of my subscribers wanted me to do uh, a video where um, I talk about the, you know, my uh, top three fighters in the world. Um, and I thought I'd make a video about that, just a short, quick video to, to list uh, my top three uh, fighters in the world. Now, there's many great fighters out there and I'm probably going to disappoint a few people. Um, but this is how my top three fighters in the world go. Uh, at number three is Alexander Usyk. Um, I think Usyk is, um, for me, an exceptional talent, a great fighter, um, a superstar in the sport. Uh, I believe his his ring IQ, his ring generalship is on another level. Um, and also, I believe he's got a great resume. Look at the way he went through the cruiserweight division and he fought some really good fighters. Bradis, um, Gassiev, um, you know, and then he fought um, Tony Bellew. You know, these are these are big names. Although, like, they're not they're not the stellar names like the heavyweight division, but still, these are big names. He went through some top top fighters. He unified, beat everyone. He was and he was by you know no doubt the number one in that division by a country mile. I think he'd beat everyone in that division now, and he was undisputed champion. So for me, I, I feel like a lot of people have him in the top five, but they don't have him higher. And uh, for me, I just don't understand that because for me, Alexander Usyk, what he showed showed me so far throughout his career is exceptional. He did everything at a very fast pace and he's undisputed champion. I always uh, give undisputed champions a lot of credit because you've basically cleaned out a division, which is not easy to do. You've beaten all the top fighters in that division and you, you hold all the belts. So I like that. I really like that. And I hold somebody that's done that in very high regard. And Alexander Usyk has done that. That's why I hold him in a very, very high regard. Um, but yeah, he's my number three. Um, my number two, guys, is a guy that's fighting Amir Khan, is Terence Crawford. Once again, I think, I think for me, I, I could probably have Usyk ahead of Terence Crawford, but I know that would probably uh, give, not would upset a lot of people. Um, but personally, I think, I think Terence Crawford, you know, he's probably rated higher than uh, Usyk in many people's eyes. Um, Terence Crawford has a lot of great skills. He can fight orthodox. Obviously, Usyk is, is, is southpaw, a hell of a southpaw. But, you know, we know Crawford can fight south, southpaw and orthodox. He's an orthodox fighter that can switch and just fight in the southpaw stance if he wants to. So, he's an listen, Crawford's an exceptional talent. Uh, I do feel that his resume is a bit weak. I, I think although he was undisputed champion, and like I said, I hold undisputed champions in high regard. I do think that, you know, in the welterweight division, he'll be tested a lot more. Obviously, April 20th, he's fighting Amir Khan, where we find out a lot more. Uh, but I do think uh, the welterweight division is where Crawford's going to get tested a lot more. But nevertheless, he cleaned out a division and he did it with, with quite a bit, a bit of ease. Um, and so, you know, I give someone like that a lot of respect because, you know, he, he like I said, although the division might have been weak, he, he cleaned it out nevertheless. And like I said, anybody that cleans out a division, I hold in very high regard. I do think we're going to learn, out, learn a lot more about Crawford. But I do think the fact that Crawford is an orthodox fighter that can go southpaw, I believe he's a complete boxer. And I think when you look at his skills, although his resume is not the greatest, I think when you look at his skills and look at him from the, from, from the eye, he looks fantastic and he looks brilliant. And the reason why I have him... Um, ahead of Usyk is because, I've, like I just said, I think the fact that he can fight in both stances is for me is it's not not many fighters can do that. So that's why, and the fact that he was undisputed champion as well, uh, I do think his, if his resume was a little stronger, he would be my number one because you'd you'd have to say he's a standout fighter. But I just don't think his resume is there for me to put him at number one. Guys, my number one is Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion, is the best fighter in the world. I think, yes, he's had some controversial uh, fights. He's had some tough fights. But one thing I've said to you guys, when you fight the best time and time again, something that Canelo's done on a consistent basis, they bring out flaws in you. And this is why I've been critical of maybe Lomachenko and... Um, and Crawford, I don't feel like they've had that stiff competition that will bring out their flaws. Because I feel... If you're looking great, that's probably because the competition that you're fighting is is not that high. You know, there's not very there's very few fighters that f fight in a division where you know there's very there's exceptional fighters everywhere and they they stand out. It's very difficult to do. 
Um, you know, Andre Ward, you'd say he's the, the most exceptional uh, opponent that he fought was Sergey Kovalev, and Kovalev had him down. Even the second fight was very close up until, you know, uh, Ward won the fight. So, like I said, Canelo's fought a lot of the top guys, in my opinion. Canelo's resume is fantastic, and I believe he deserves his number one powerful fight. I don't feel that people have him up there, uh, but I just think when you combine resume, talent, and everything, all of that together... You have to put Canelo number one. His resume is the best in boxing. There isn't a better, uh, there isn't a boxer with a better resume than Canelo Alvarez. And that combined with his skills and his talent, I think for me, he's number one. But that's my list, guys. Leave your thoughts. Let me know your top three pound for pound fighters in the world. Uh, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.